Merry Christmas from Old Can and Not a Spring Chick, as well as Monty Bubbles. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, enjoy your family time and friend time. Much joy. Merry Christmas. Is Monty joining us for Christmas? Monty wants to do Christmas wishes too. Are you doing Christmas wishes? She was thinking, I saw that turn. She thought about it and then decided not. She came over and got on. Monty. Okay. Tar target. Um, target makes a red mark for, oh, how shall we say this? Um, I had it all in my head before. Yeah, what it was was Target is the Grinch that stole Christmas. Tar That's Target it. is a Grinch that stole, it is. Target is the Grinch that stole Christmas. They, the PR is now so bad that Target looks like it's going to pick up the losses of all the other credit card companies. They said that the, the customers and the companies will not be liable for fraud now. It's going to cost them maybe a billion dollars before this is over. Oh my God. And uh, it's going to cost them the, you know, after after Christmas sales. I mean, it is just going to be what? god awful. Exactly. That's got to be expensive because here's, let's just say that Christmas sales are over with already yeah, because well, the credit cards they're limiting are what limiting you it. can put on your credit card now. They're limiting you to the money you can withdraw, and that means that if you have a problem, for instance, you have a problem this weekend, and you need to have a, 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 a tire put on your car, and you basically have a debit card, it's not going to happen. Oh my gosh! You, you just said feel like if you if you pay your bills off that credit card, off your credit card. Uh, and if they're more than two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars, you're not going to pay your bills off that credit card. It's right. If you need to get a set of tires, tires are a lot more than three hundred dollars. It's not going to happen. You know, it won't happen. I mean, you can't even oh use a debit card to pay for a tire because they're more than that. Oh. Any mechanical my God. problems you can't pay for with a debit card or a credit card. You're you're dead because they said that Walmart. They said that uh, the people at Dayton Hudson were laughing at this. There's nothing to worry about. And then all of a sudden, a, mi a million of these things have already pulled up and they're coming. Because we, oh you mean, my gosh. I've had people over on my side say that their they had to, their credit card was hacked and because they didn't. My mom's was hacked. Yeah, but there, a lot of them are being hacked. And they, I, I, one guy said, <laughs> but he said, I, you know, like the person that said the commercial that they didn't know that our credit card's happy. It's in England right now. They said that. The, his, they were having, uh, they're, they're having a Christmas, I understand, they're having an excellent Christmas in, in the Kremlin, you know, uh, in Moscow with his credit card because he said he wishes them a lot of fun because I've never been to the, the, the Kremlin at any of his facilities before. So. Mm -hmm. they, were, they used it at the Kremlin to buy things, gifts. Oh, they did? Yeah, because they wanted, you know, they sell pictures and they sell t-shirts and jackets and stuff. It's a big business. Oh. Can you imagine going in? to the Kremlin and using a phony credit card. Oh, God. Yeah, but they destroyed, they not only destroyed Christmas, they've destroyed a lot of people. Well, there's a lot of presents and other things that are more than $300. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't buy consumer electronics, most people. Oh, you my, can't you can't buy a television. You can't buy televisions, at te you can't buy televisions, you can't buy uh, computers, you can't buy decent tablets, you can't buy cell phones. You, you can't buy a laptop. Remember, we talked about it. It's like this is what the reports are right now, but there could be something that's unforeseeable, like Target being hacked. Yeah. Oh, God. And Cypriots turned to handouts after decades of the good life. Oh, Herbie, Herbie Daddy said you can thank the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and his destruction of the, of the monetary system in the world for that because he convinced the people that uh, they needed, the people needed to go on an austerity measure because they were living too high and cut back the money that they were... They needed money to bail them out. Well, no. Well, it, it basically, when it was so bad in the United States, I wouldn't advise that you do it anywhere else. And all of these countries that collapsed because of what our government did to the oil industry here are paying for what, our, what the Democratic Party did. And the U.S. court rejects stay in Utah pro-gay marriage ruling. Well, I know. Uh, because... It's just ridiculous. The, the Obama administration is counting on the fact that here's how it works is. Socialists always seem to think that everyone is going to approve of what they did and therefore they do it and then find out 
what happened is Obama and his people are finding out the tipping point was two things. The now people have it, you can now, the, the laws no longer are valid about marriage to anyone, which means married to children are going to come up next. You can marry animals, you can marry, you know, you can marry as many people as you want. And not being able to, not people not being able to have their own relig religious viewpoints anymore without being attacked by everybody. Mm -hmm. And Saudi is ready to act on, on Iran, Syria, the ambassador. Yeah, the Obama doesn't understand that these people are going to basically, they've got, they have the means to attack Iran. And my guess is they're going to give the Israelis free, you know, they're going to give them a corridor that they can fly their planes through and hit Iran in cooperation with the, with, with the Saudi. And it's going to be a massacre because uh, what happens is the Iranians are going to fight back. They're going to throw everything that they got back. Remember, Iran now has submarines, folks, and they're getting a bloody, uh, getting an aircraft carrier. That's all. They only need the submarines and an aircraft carrier to stage attacks on people. And could an octopus really be terrorizing Oklahoma's lakes? Yeah, because octopuses live in cold water. So therefore, I mean, uh, freezing water doesn't bother them. Have you ever seen the National Geographic specials or the other things? They have octopuses in the Antarctic. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm assuming what happened is, oh, he's such a cute little octopi, let's take him home. Oh, he looks like he's going to be 20 foot long. I think we better get rid of him mm -hmm. and dump him in a lake, rather than to turn him over to the authorities. Because there's no law about owning an octopus, none. I never thought about owning an octopus. No, but that one. Oh they, my gosh. They have to be fed, they have to be maintained. And the bigger they get, the bigger the tank you got to have. And so what looked like it was a cute little thing when it was got became expensive. Oh, and somebody my God. They think that somebody had dumped an octopus into the... And it says nobody really knows how long they live. So... Oh, my... Oh, my gosh. It's like it's something you don't you don't fathom. Well, yeah, but it's yeah. also got free... They're, um, they're carnivorous so that you got no idea how many fish that a, a long octopus. octopus can eat in a lake. Yeah, I have yeah. no clue. Or how and big it can get. Immigrants so mouth mouth shut in Italy to demand relief. Uh, what? Herbie, Herbie Daddy says that you know what the uh, Italians that want them thrown out of the country said. What? Good. Oh, interesting. Because that was a stupid thing to do in a place where you're not wanted to go on a hunger strike by sewing your mouth. They they sewed their mouth shut. So that they was the the the. the they were making a political point in a place where they're not wanted. They have no friends and, okay, immigrant, these people are not wanted in any country in Europe. They're flat out not wanted. So they just tell them goodbye. Yeah, and yeah. so they're trying to do things like this is ridiculous. And Southeast Asia's eyes Chinese air zone expansion. Yeah, uh, they said that what happened is that Japan, oh, okay, the President of the United States, well, what the hell? I mean, so we have a we have a treaty that says that, that they can't do any of this in Japan. We're encouraging them to spend $200 billion on building an attack force. And Okay, Herbie Daddy says, you know what happens when you give people with a military background mm -hmm. a brand new military to play with? What? They use it. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. Treasury cautions Bitcoin businesses on legal duties. Uh, Legal now, duties? Oh, now, now they're trying to say if you use something that doesn't exist except in the cloud, that you have to pay you have to pay taxes on it. No, it doesn't exist. It, it, it you know, it's just basically um, it's like you have the little ball and it basically and it tells you what to say. That's exactly how much a bitcoin is worth. It's worth nothing. I mean, it, it's the most. It basically it's a god awful con. They're trading pieces of paper like used to be done um, a long time ago, and there, uh, there, and there's no, there's no um, payment thing. You go to a place that uh, you do business with people to do bitcoins. If you have a bitcoin, you can't transfer it into cash. It's a means of transfer. If you don't already do business for it, you can't accept a bitcoin because the bitcoin is useless. Overstock.com is now accepting bitcoins. What? Yeah. 
Really? But if, uh, that's right. But if you if a Bitcoin is worth more than what you're paying for, they give you it back in a smaller denomination of Bitcoin that isn't worth anything anywhere except in a business you do that does business with Bitcoins. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, Monty Bubble said, even though it's not politically correct, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry, Merry Christmas! No! Otherwise, we have to wait for you to go to the room. Yeah, we're going to be here. Yeah.